My name is Dr. Nicole Rogers. I'm a board certified dermatologist and hair transplant surgeon, and I specialize in the treatment of male and female pattern hair thinning. So here are just a couple of slides to help illustrate what's happening with male and female pattern hair thinning. The first slide, you can see this variation in the caliber of the hairs. And here you see nice thick hairs. Here you see finer, thinner hairs. And you also see that the hairs are still growing, the bigger hairs are still growing in groupings of two to three hairs per follicular unit. There are also a few empty follicles where those hairs have completely involuted to the point that no further hair can be seen. And what's happening here is that these nice thick terminal hairs are being replaced with thinner, finer versions of themselves. The other difference is that they grow for a shorter period of time. So rather than growing five to seven years, they grow three to four years or one to two years. And if you feel the scalp of a bald man, you'll feel that he still has fine, soft follicles, but their growth cycle is so short that it may only last for a month or two before that hair sheds. This is a picture of a woman who presented with hair loss, but she wasn't aware that she was having hair thinning. It wasn't until we took a picture using dermoscopy that we recognized this variation in the caliber of the hairs. So these are the thicker hairs, which are being replaced with thinner, finer versions of themselves. In this next case, this woman had had a more long-standing episode of hair thinning, several years worth rather than several months worth. And when we look under dermoscopy at her hair follicles, we can see that they have all progressed to appear as indi individual fine, thin follicles. They've also shrunken to groups of single hair follicular units, whereas normal hairs grow in groupings of three to four hairs. 